Your thoughts, if you can, on this infrastructure package, what it means in terms of, well, lumber, right? Some of the construction that is underway, fueling further perhaps some of these high prices that we see. I haven't seen the details of the of the plan um, at this point, but just from a general perspective, infrastructure spending is different than, uh, for example, a monetary or fiscal stimulus. It does have obviously an impact on economic growth, but it's, it plays out over a longer term and it's intended in its proper characterization to be an improvement in the economic efficiency of, uh, of the overall economy. So when you think about roads and bridges, and maybe go back to the Eisenhower administration and the interstate highway system, tremendous improvement in the economic efficiency of the U.S. economy. So one of the elements that was discussed was the development of broadband. You could kind of think of that as a modern uh, international interstate uh, highway system for electronic uh, communication. And I, I think there's a, a solid case based on what we've learned about the application of technology during the COVID and the work at home period, that that could be of a significant benefit to the economy over time. Efficiency, Doug, that's what they're after. How about the inflationary pressures, some of the frictions that we're seeing from supply side? Doesn't seem that the president's worried about that from the injection of $579 billion more into the economy. Is that something that you think will have a knock-on effect? Well, um, certainly in the housing uh, space, we're, we're expecting to see some uh, run-up in inflationary pressure actually out into next year. The, um, we agree that much of what we've seen at the moment is transitory. The fact that the airlines are ramping up uh, traffic and, and uh, prices are rising uh, is a factor that they were well below what run rates in, in passenger miles were. The chip issues in the auto space leading to the run-up in, in used car prices, those things we do think are a function of bottlenecks uh, or recovery back to, to more uh, standard levels of activity. In the housing sector, there's no question that we've seen a, a significant run-up in materials costs. Uh, it, lumber is the case in, in point. Um, uh, I spoke to a builder who said in January of 2020, a 2,000 square foot house cost him $5,000 of lumber. In March of 2021, it was $17,000. Recently, lumber prices have started to come down as producers have started to ramp up. Uh, and there are some bottlenecks in some of the supplies there as well. But no question, more pressure on the demand side will uh, continue to see builders running flat out and, and demand for uh, uh, supplies to build uh, to run up.